yeah, I do got your paint, Walter. taped off it's ready to go and uh, before we put any paint on it what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and put a coat of sealer on it that's very important the sealer we're going to use is epoxy primer now when you apply the epoxy primer you want to make sure to let that activate for approximately 30 minutes once you add the uh, hardener activator to the primer and what I do is I go ahead and reduce it 10% with urethane reducer and that makes the flow out better so we don't have an orange peel. Does that make sense to you? Now, have you ever heard of adding a reducer to your epoxy primer? Absolutely. But you don't use a lot of it, why? Because it'll, uh, it'll solve and pop. It'll solve and pop and it'll also do what, Walter? It'll start wrinkling and peeling. It's an epoxy, right? Because what happens, come here. If you break through the paint like you did right here, Okay, using that reducer, the reducer will make that all peel up. So you don't want to use a lot of reducer when you do that, dude. Right, we got somebody dry. out here working harder than us. We got many out there working, bud. And once again, if you look outside while we're in here sitting around, Minnie's out there working her ass off, weed eating, and uh, doing what she likes to do, mowing the lawn. I don't know why she likes doing that, but more power to her. That's good for me. So, how are you going to paint all these little pieces, Walter, since we're not painting them in the booth? What are you going to do, bud? That's a lot of little parts to paint. What kind of spray gun are you using to do that with? A mini sated. You're going to paint all these with a mini sated jet? That's a lot of parts to paint with a little spray gun like that, dude. I'll probably use a uh, quarter of a pint or less. To paint all these pieces? Come on, dude. You got these things here that are split in half. Look. Okay, now how are you going to paint those, Walter? Are you going to hang those up or? All right, so you're the ace guy, you're the, you're the anal, uh, you know, I want everything perfect dude, so let's hope this all turns out good and it doesn't turn out to be a nightmare like most buddy deals. Right? Okay? Yeah. It's fine, Walter. All right, what do you think of this buddy deal going on over here? I got no here? comment. No comment at all. Okay, so you're just weed eating today and that's it? You're the weed eater. I'm done. What about the back of the shot? You're not done at the back, out in the back. I just did all the back I'm going to do. How tall is it back there? Where? In the very back. No, I don't know. I didn't go back You're not going to do it back there? No. And I was just bragging about how good of a weed eater she was. Wow. That was a mistake. Okay, so uh, the paint that we're going to use for this job, we're going to use the High Tech DBC. This is Base Coat DBC. Now, uh, here's some paint. We're going to go ahead and, uh, I don't really advertise, but we're going to go ahead and show people this. What's the situation here, Walter? Let's say that we were going to use this, but uh, we decided to go with DBC. Why, bud? It uh, covers better. Okay. Is that all? I mean, that's I mean, really the pigments are better. What's the, why is it better? Uh, it's a more high quality paint. What? They use different binders and clears, or? Yeah, I mean, I, I, the main thing that I like is it covers better. Uh huh. It doesn't cover it, the color doesn't match. So it goes back to what we were saying. It goes back to what we were saying. You get what you pay for when it comes to paint supplies on the finished product. Right. So if you buy a cheaper paint, you need to use more material. You so it's to better to go with uh, the more expensive paint. If you want a higher quality job, use the more expensive. I mean, you can see how thick it is. Look how the look how this right here, dude. Just from wiping it off, that's some thick stuff, dude. Right. Because you're putting too much material on. To get it to cover, you're trying to put, huh. you know, putting eight coats instead of four coats. Yeah. Right. Okay, so we're going to use this gun over here. Uh, this isn't a very high tech gun, but it's a good gun, and that's the gun that we're going to use. HVLP, nice straight line forward, good spray gun. 
And my theory is on spray guns is that you don't need to have the $9,000 spray gun to do a beautiful paint job. It's more uh, experience than it is spray gun, am I right? All right, we got to go. We're going to get the sealer on, and I'll put the first several coats on, then Walter will come back and finalize it up with his uh, technique, and hopefully everything will look good with the car. What is that, a Honda Civic? There you go. We'll be back. Walter's uh, car, it's a 95 Honda, I believe, Honda Civic uh, station wagon or whatever the f it is. Let's go in there and check it out and see what we got. And uh, hopefully it was a buddy deal that went right. I'm about sick and tired of all these buddy deals gone bad. Let's see what it looks well, like. So far I like the bumpers. The bumpers came out really, really nice. Uh, I just want to let everybody out there know that Walter is a hell of a body man. Walter is one of these precise anal guys that uh, inspects every... Okay, here comes Walter. Let's uh, check it out. Alright, what's up, Walter? How's it looking, dude? Yeah, don't get too close now, bud. I think it looks... Are you joking me? Why are you looking down the car like that, bud? Why are you doing that? Oh, okay. I thought you were checking the paint, bud. What do you think, dude? Is that enough clear? Is that enough paint on it? Yeah, so we didn't get a lot of orange peel, but if you look right here now, look. From that static electricity, you can see this minor dust specks. It really didn't turn out bad. It came out pretty nice, dude. Huh? I think it came out nice. You know what I like is that paint we use, bud. I mean, two coats of paint is another, dude. How about the bumper over here, bud? We had a little going on. Look, like two little dots. I don't believe that. The very last swing of the spray gun, dude. You know what I'm saying? I think it came out awesome, but I'm ready to see this gun tomorrow. Well, are you glad you brought it over here to my friend Pete Walter? Yes. Huh? Yes. Right. Are you going to pop the bumpers on there tomorrow, or are you going to just... No, they, yeah, they just two screws on there. I hate to see those bumpers fall off after all that. That intensive taping that I did there, look at that, bud. Look at that intensive taping, dude. It was. Alright, Walter, thank you very much for taking up my whole day here. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cuss. Alright, I'll edit that out. Let me say that again. Alright, Walter, thank you for uh, taking my whole day up, bud. I really appreciate it, okay? Walter doesn't want me to cuss because he wants to be able to show this video to his son. And being a Christian man that Walter is, you know, he doesn't like cussing. So he even asked me, what would happen if my friend Pete quit cussing in his videos? What do you think would happen? What would happen? Wow. <laughs> Over here. Let's see what your paint job looks like versus mine, bud. Now, what did you use to spray this stuff with, dude? Because you didn't use a big spray gun. Did you use a little uh, mini jet touch up gun? And how do you like that gun, bud, for something like this? That really came out nice. Look at Now, was that three coats or? Some of them three coats. stuff really came out nice, dude. You did an awesome job. Uh, I think 
think you just came out better than mine, Walter. Thank you very much. <laughs> I got you, bud. Alright, Walter, we'll see you later, dude. We'll see you driving out tomorrow, bud. We'll be back with you in the morning. What time do you want to hook up in the morning? Bright and early again, get it out of here. Sounds good to me, dude. Alright, looking good, Walter. As always, Walter the Body Man. I think you were born to be a body man, dude. Perfection is your middle name, dude. Take it easy, bud. All right, well, there you go. We got it painted, it's done. It's an all day job, what, Walter? What's up? Nothing. Go ahead, what were you gonna say? I wasn't gonna say anything. You, yeah, you were. Go ahead, dude. <laughs> I didn't say that. Okay, are you done talking then? Yeah. All right, All right. Uh, I'm going home, and uh, hopefully that's what you're doing. You're at home relaxing, taking it easy. And if you're at work working, good for you. You ought to be happy you got a job. We'll see you later. Take it easy. My friend Pete, your friend Pete. Be back tomorrow morning, bright and early. That's what I'm talking about.